As the world saw Russia attack Ukraine at the start of 2022, many crypto names came into the light for their generous donations to help those who became the war's victims. Among those names, Gavin Wood also made the headlines as he donated $5.8 million in a cryptocurrency known as Polkadot that many were not aware of. Gavin Wood, just like a few others, is a revolutionary in the field of cryptocurrencies for his countless contributions, some of which you might have encountered if you've ever used a cryptocurrency. What's interesting about Wood is that the household he grew up in had a fear of electricity-based accidents, yet he still managed to love technology. There is a lot to learn about Gavin Wood and his mission to change the world through the help of decentralized technologies such as Ethereum and Polkadot. In this video, we are going to talk about that, help uncover who this hero is and what his future vision is. But before we do, please be advised that the content in this video is not financial advice and is available for informational and entertainment purposes only. If you like the video, consider giving us a like and hitting the subscribe icon. Now, let's get back to who Dr. Gavin James Wood is. British software developer and computer scientist, who is Gavin Wood? During the launch of Bitcoin back in the year 2009, Dr. Gavin James Wood, or Gavin Wood, was knee-deep in the field of computer visualization and simply uninterested in the growing hype of cryptocurrencies. In 2013, having 15 years of open source coding experience, he met Vitalik Buterin at a tech conference. And upon Buterin's request, he read the incomplete white paper of Ethereum. And within weeks, he had decided to join Ethereum. Later, Wood will serve as the Chief Technology Officer or CTO of Ethereum using his experience and knowledge of software development to develop the core blockchain infrastructure for Ethereum. Once Ethereum made it to the public, that's when the crypto community learned about Gavin Wood, yet his mission did not end there. From Lanchester to founding Polkadot, the early life of Gavin Wood. Gavin Wood was born in Lanchester, United Kingdom in April 1980. According to his LinkedIn profile, from his early childhood, he had been interested in economics and game theory. With a helping neighbour named Sean, he introduced Wood to programming when at the age of nine he got his first computer. Apart from his programming skills, Wood turned out to be really good in academics, as he did a double masters in computer systems and software engineering in 2002 from the University of York. Wood decided to stay in the institute for a bit longer, and so in 2005 he did his PhD in Music Visualization for Human-Computer Interfacing, earning him the honorary title of a doctor. Prior to entering the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, Wood worked at different software firms as a programmer and developer. From 2000 to 2001 he worked as a programmer at N Technology PLC. From December 2005 to February 2007, he worked at Frontier Developments as the Engine Sublead Programmer. From August 2007 to November 2011, he worked at Microsoft Research Cambridge as the Research and Software Consultant. From December 2011 to September 2013, he worked as a Technical Director at Lancaster Logic Response. And finally, from July 2013 to January 2014, he worked as Director of Technology at Ox Legal. In an interview with a TV reporter, Wood summarized his career before Ethereum as, I was lucky to work as a consultant for Microsoft Research on several technical aspects. I also worked as a designer and implemented the first truly smart lighting controller for London's top nightclubs. Designed and implemented the world's first C++ language workbench. Lastly, helped build the software system of Ox Legal, which is a smart text contract editor. Wood's entry into the crypto sector. Thanks to Vitalik Buterin, Dr. Wood in 2014 started to work on a decentralized platform that was similar to Bitcoin. However, it was the vision and goals of Ethereum that made Wood be invested in Ethereum. Among other famous names such as Anthony DeLorio, Charles Hoskinson and Wendell Davis among others, Wood coded the very first functional implementation of Ethereum POC1, which is popularly known as the Alpha release. After the success of the Alpha release, Wood became the co-founder and chief technology officer of Ethereum. 
as the co-founder and chief technology officer of Ethereum, Wood dedicated all his effort to the future development of Ethereum, including general platform architecture, C++ Ethereum's client, alongside the initial design of Solidity which is an object-oriented programming language that is designed to be a language in which smart contracts can be written and later used by Ethereum. After two years, Wood left and went to found Parity Technologies, which is a blockchain infrastructure firm built specifically for the decentralized web. At Parity Technologies, Wood was able to host multiple projects that would help for the future innovation of decentralized applications, ranging from fastest to most advanced on Ethereum, which includes a flexible tech stack, thus allowing users to be able to build their blockchain from literally scratch. Web 3.0 and Polkadot, the cool stuff Wood developed. In 2016, Wood has promised himself to work continuously on his decentralized vision for the internet, and that's why he founded the Web3 Foundation, allowing to nurture technologies and applications in the sector of decentralized web software protocols, which enables the entire Web 3.0 ecosystem to be able to become more advanced and sustainable. In 2017, thanks to all the past efforts of Parity Technologies and Web 3 Foundation, Wood was able to publicly launch Polkadot, which is the world's first ever heterogeneous scalable multi-chain framework. As the project was first of its kind and developed by the world's best crypto mind, it was able to raise $140 million in October 2017. One of the greatest abilities of Polkadot is the ability to process transactions in parallel, therefore improving the transaction's performance. Secondly, Polkadot combines the best of both worlds from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake, in which instead of blockchains competing with each other over the given resources that help to secure their networks, it allows the blockchains to pool their security, ensure the blockchain security is aggregated and spread all across. Polkadot also has a native token known as DOT, which provides governance, operations to the network, and the creation of parachains through the help of bonding. Dr. Wood's Future Ventures For now, it appears Wood is working to ensure the successful implementation of Polkadot and the development of Web 3.0. There is no confirmed news about the future projects that he is working on as of now. All it appears is that the main focus is to make sure the projects Dr. Wood has worked on fulfill their purpose. He is very active on social media, including Medium and Twitter, where he occasionally criticizes projects. Conclusion Dr. Gavin James Wood is indeed the top notable person in blockchain technology, and will remain to be so in the coming years especially given how Polkadot is becoming more mainstream, since it is most likely it will establish itself as the second major DeFi-led ecosystem right after Ethereum. Apart from this, his notable contribution to the development of Ethereum and Web 3.0 is not going to go unnoticed for decades to come. Hit the like and subscribe button to stay on top of everything that is going on in the world of cryptocurrencies and Web 3.0, and by clicking on either of our Cryptolicious videos. Thanks for watching.